charge with the vision, vision. Then make a killing, killing. You gon' make you a million. They gon' make you a villain. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Word of Mouth. My name is PJ, and you are now tuned in to a series that I made called Where's That Business? The purpose of Where's That Business is to highlight black-owned businesses that are non-existent that I feel like would be a huge benefit to our community if we have ownership of. Um, either the business doesn't exist or I haven't been able to find it. And since I've looked for it, I know other people probably have as well. And if I um, mention a business during this series that you know of, please don't hesitate to reach out. Let me know because I like to support them. Business ownership in our community is extremely important because out of the four major ethnic groups in America, um, black, white, Hispanic, and Asian, we are dead last in business ownership. And since we don't have the business, we can't support it, and therefore money cannot be recycled back into the community. I think the biggest um, myth or problem that we have in our community is that some people think that, or well, a lot of people think, I know I, I used to be one of them, is that you have to be extremely passionate for a business um, idea in order to start it and while this is kind of true you know you should um, be passionate about a business or, or whatever you're doing the basic principles of business is seeing um, a problem and giving a solution to a market in need and um, the black community is a proven market um, of, there of a whole bunch of different things and we need solutions. We need people um, to make those solutions. So while you should kind of be passionate about it, you don't necessarily have to love it with all your heart. And you don't even have to, you know, work in the business. If you are a good business owner, the business works for you and it's basically like passive income. And, but that's at the highest level because of course you have to build the business up. But I just, I just said all that to say that you don't really you don't, don't think that you have to just be passionate and love and, and you know, want to do it for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? Because you could even start a business and sell it to another black person. You know what I'm saying? And we can just keep money being recycled with, with each other. So like I said, I'll be highlighting problems or rather <clears throat> a lack in products uh, for a specific and proven market in this series. And remember, at about 14% of the USA, there are about 40 million people, just like you and me, with the power of 1.2 trillion in spending dollars. So I'd say there's plenty to go around. Now let's get on to the business. Today, I'm talking about kitchen supplies. And when I say kitchen supplies, I'm talking about pots, pans, utensils, dishes, cups, dish detergent, you know, uh, glassware, oven mitt sets, um, anything that belongs in the kitchen. I haven't been able to find no business that sells these things. In my opinion, we make the best food. And not just soul food. We have black chefs who are culinary experts who can create an array of different dishes. You know, but we don't own the tools used to make the product, the food. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people in the USA eat our food. Um, just imagine if all the black owned restaurants had a catalog of black owned utensils and, and stuff to use for their restaurant. You know, that, that's one of the things. Not to mention churches, catering services, and also just the individual. You know, everybody's grandma's out here cooking somewhere. And you mean to tell me we don't own not one spatula? I think that's absurd and we need to think about that as a community and, and you know spark the ball and get that going so we can start feeding our people literally you know what I'm saying we need this I need this and I don't only want to tell y'all about businesses and not provide resources for you to go learn on your own so maybe coaching or uh, just information uh, knowledge about business business credit business funding so I'll leave links to some people that help out with those different areas right below this video. Be sure to check them out and stay locked in on that. Well, that wraps up episode one. I'm not gonna take up too much of y'all time. I just wanted to highlight, like I said, business that I have not been able to find. Hopefully this was thought provoking and eye opening. Get you guys out there to start thinking about some stuff. And 
Thank you for being a part of the Word of Mouth community. See you next time. So family, after I recorded that video, I went back and I'm, I'm always doing research trying to find more black businesses. So I actually came across Aisha Curry, Steph Curry's wife. She I know she was doing the cooking channel, but I didn't really know she had her own cooking stuff too. I ever actually watched her show on the cooking channel. So she probably advertised for that up there. But yeah, I'm looking at her website now and let's go to shop. Looks like they have, she has a lot of stuff actually, bakeware, glassware, uh, so like some coffee mugs here. She has pots and pans. So this is the type of stuff that I'm looking for, uh, black owned businesses that has these type of things because these are the things that we need in our community. And also, just a side note, if Aisha is the only person that has cookware, <laughs> The only black person that has cookware, don't you think we probably need some more? And like I said, if there are more out there, let me know and I'll check them out. And I'll be sure to share them with everybody else who is part of the community. Kitchen tools, got knives, spoons, or whatever the case may be. Nice. Start with the vision. Then make a killing, killing. You gon' make you a million. They gon' make you a villain.